Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's Gapminder World video number one. Now in this series of videos what I'm hoping to do is showcase one of my all-time favorite websites. I mean it's a website that I use anytime I'm doing a statistics lesson uh, just to try and spice things up a bit because it really bugs me when students are kind of turned off statistics and it can be a bit boring and it can be a bit dry and it can be hard and very time consuming to try and find real life interesting data to inspire the students but I just think this website is absolutely fantastic for doing that and the website of course is called Gapminder World and in this first video I'm just going to show you how to get onto the website and how to use some of its more basic controls and then over the next few weeks I'll try and pick out some interesting stuff that you can show your students on the website. So let's find it first. So I'm in Google and I'm just going to type in Gapminder World. There it is. Give that a little click and click on that and then fingers crossed if my internet connection is running fast that should take us there. Now the home page does take a while to load up um, because it's quite, well, there's all sorts going on. So I've just prepared the home page up here and that's what you get. That's what it looks like. And basically it's a series of scatter diagrams, but it's a lot more than that because the dynamic scatter diagrams, you can see how things change through time and you've got literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of excellent data sets for all the countries around the world. Okay, so I'll just show you the basic controls of it. Um, oh, I should say as well that on the website there's loads of other extra information there's videos from the guy who's created it who's absolutely brilliant there's links for kind of resources for teachers and all that kind of stuff so you'll find loads of useful stuff on there but i'm just going to show you just a, a little brief thing here so first thing is um you might want to make things a bit bigger so you can click here um for view on full screen which is uh, very nice and what you get here, you get your y-axis and your x-axis, and these are the variables that are currently plotted on there, so income per person and life expectancy. The first thing to say is that you hover, if you hover over one, it tells you how it's been defined, so that's quite useful. Um, kind of in the background, you get the year, which is 2009, and if you drag on this timeline, you can move things back through time, which is pretty useful. Um, all these dots uh, relate to different countries. Uh, the size of the dot is um, what that means is it's the population total. Now I think that's a pretty useful thing to have for the size of the dots, but you can change that by clicking the drop down menu and choose any variable you, you like. Um, the other thing to say is that if you want to change variables, if you just click on here, then you get loads and loads of options. So at the moment it's life expectancy, but it could quite easily be something from health. It could be cancer rates or risk factors or nutrition or anything like that. There's all sorts going on, really good data sets for those. Um, if, you actually, if you ever want to see what data they're using and, and use it yourself to draw different types of graphs, then if you just kind of hover to the bottom here, you get view data. And if you give that a click, what fires up is I've already done this here. It's just a page here where you get all the data that Gapmind is using um, over time for every different country. And you can just copy and paste this just like you would do in, um, in any other program. So that's really good. Or download it straight to an Excel file. So that's pretty useful. Um, anyway, back, back to Gapminder. What you can do as well is you can hover over any country and it'll tell you the name of it. You can hover over here over every any region and it will flash up all the countries from that region. You can select specific countries and that's what we're going to be doing over the series of videos. So if you want to see where Australia is, there it is there um, and Bahrain maybe. And what you can do as well is that you can... if uh, trails are ticked then you can track how these countries have developed over time so if I just scroll this year back to something like 1945 or something and I hit play then we can actually keep track of how Bahrain and Australia have developed over time and again that's something we'll be talking about a lot more over the next few weeks so that's how you use Gapminder uh, that's how you get onto it and the basic controls and hopefully I'll show you some um, interesting lesson ideas that your students might enjoy over the next few weeks and that's all for now bye bye and see you next time